Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this new Elec NSDR Mini software defined radio. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So if you're not familiar, software defined radio is a device you connect to a computer and you can tune into many frequencies. So I've been playing around with software defined radio and I've used the RTL SDR blog SDR and I wanted to try this different one out. So it comes with a thank you card. It looks like there's a QR code on how to set it up. Here's the device itself. It looks like it has little vent holes on it. it has a place for the antenna. It has a cap for the USB. And then it comes with an antenna. Now, I'm not an expert on antennas and things, but this is the one it comes with. It's pretty basic. This is kind of a thin film here. You could potentially adhere that to something. Let me measure the distance. So the cord length on this is just under four feet. The length of the antenna is just over five and three quarters inches. So the antenna plugs into the side here, like so. And then I'll plug this into my computer. So let's head over to my computer and I'll test this out. So this antenna base is not very heavy. You can see here, the cord makes it flip over. There, I think I got it now. So I'm cutting in here with an update on the antenna. The bottom is actually a magnet. You can see the outline of the magnet here by some iron filings. I was using this on my bench and I just apparently had some iron filings on there and noticed it was a magnet. So here's like a vise, sticks right to it, sticks to the side. So that's the answer to making this more stable is you get a metal mounting surface. So let's head over to my computer. I'll plug this in and we'll test it out. So I'm not going to go over all the software you can install, but one of them I like to use is Cubic SDR. So here we see the device, it's the RTL2832U. So that's the Realtek chips that it uses. I'll hit start here. And here we can tune into frequencies. So there's a radio station. Now I will say I'm in a basement right now, but we'll try this. So there's some talk radio that's working. Okay. So let's head into the terminal. And I've installed software called RTL433. And I'll run a command there. We can sniff the airwaves for frequencies related to weather stations and things like that. So this will pull up power meters. Let's see how this works. Okay, so here we got something here. It says SCM+. Plus. Here's a gas meter. This top one says meter type unknown. And here we got another meter. Now I sped that up, but you can see different parameters here, like how much the consumption is and things like that. So I'll hit control C here, clear my screen. Now I'll just run this without any frequency, the default. It should come up. It scans on 433, I think. So here we're getting some weather stations. We have this top weather station. We can see the temperature and humidity. Then below that, we see a lacrosse weather station. Looks like we can see the temperature there. Then the top one again. So that's the new Elec NESDR Mini software defined radio. I don't love the antenna on this, but I think it's going to work for what I need. So if you're wanting a robust SDR, this may not be the best option, but I'm going to be installing this to monitor gas and electric meters and things like that. And I think it's going to meet my needs for that use. So I'll get this out so it works like I need and I'm really not going to touch it. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.